Hello, and welcome to another Science Man digital lesson. Today, we're going to look at electrical substations. Now, you may have seen one of these in your community or, or city, and they're really made for three purposes. One might be to increase voltage, one is to uh, possibly to decrease voltage, and another one could be to redistribute electricity. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a particular application of an electrical substation, but the first thing we'll need to do is, is, is um, simulate some place where the electricity is needed. So let's just grab a neighborhood and um, plop it onto our screen here. And uh, then what we need is a, a source of electricity. So I'm going to go into um, these power stations and I think I'm going to use a coal power station. So I'll just drag this onto the screen and, and there we have, let's just try that again, there we have our coal-fired uh, power station. Now what, what, we, what we need to do to uh, get electricity from the uh, coal-fired station to the neighborhood is, is connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag these uh, connect electrical connections for, to, from one terminal to the other. There I've connected one. Of course, to, for a complete circuit, I need to have um, two wires. So I'm just going to connect both sets of terminals. And then, oh my, it looks like I created some sort of explosion. Let's see. Well, it says I have peak voltage being exceeded. I'm just going to try and fix it and while it just explodes again. I'll, I'll try one more time and it immediately explodes again. The, the neighborhood briefly lights up but I keep getting these explosions so that's no good. Uh, it appears what we have is a situation with too much voltage. Um, the the coal-fired power plant is producing um, electricity at, at too high of a voltage. So what we need is a electrical substation in order to change the voltage so that it's appropriate for the neighborhood. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll drag a substation onto the, onto the um, screen here and of course this is a, a, a radical um, oversimplification. We have a, a substation that is probably way out of scale here. Um, but the point is, is that this substation is going to uh, change some voltage for us. Now, if we check this right now, um, what we have is a substation that actually is set to increase voltage. Now, uh, one, one of the components of a substation is acting as a transformer. And they're actually, in the real world, an electrical substation can have many transformers. But as a whole, this substation is acting as a transformer, and right now it's set up with uh, to, to act as a step-up transformer. And that's not what we want. What we really want is for it to be a step-down transformer. That is, we want less voltage coming out of it uh, than we want going in. So I'm just going to set this up so that there are 20 turns on the primary and 10 turns on the secondary. That makes it a step down transformer. And then we're just going to move this out of the way and what we'll do is we'll connect the coal fired station to one terminal on the uh, on the substation and then we'll connect again to um, to the substation. Now we'll connect the substation to the neighborhood and we'll connect the other connection to the neighborhood and we'll see what happens. Well it looks like we have a connection but we have a dark neighborhood. Let's oh it looks like we have a still a peak voltage that's that's too high. I'll try and fix it and see what happens. Oh well it ran for a few moments but then we got another explosion. I'll try to fix it one more time. Uh oh another explosion. No good. So obviously what we need to do is we need to increase the number of primary turns to make this a step-down transformer that decreases the voltage even more. So I'm going to put 30 turns on the primary 
and 10 turns on the secondary. So really the ratio is going to drop the voltage at a ratio of, of 3 to 1. So for instance, if there was 3,000 volts on this side, there would be only be 1,000 volts coming out of the other side of the substation. So let's try it again. Um, we'll reset it and fix the problem. And now we have, oh look, we have electricity flowing. That's great, but our neighborhood is all dark. If you look very closely, the windows are still dark. So what we have here is electricity flowing and we no longer have explosions in the circuit being destroyed. But we also have a situation that's no good because there's the, the voltage isn't high enough now. We've reduced the voltage too much. So what we'll do is we'll try and adjust this a bit more. We'll just change the number of turns to uh, a little bit less. We'll change it from 30 to uh, 3 to 1 to 2.5 to 1. So now we're still stepping down the voltage but not quite as much. Now let's see what happens. Now the electricity is flowing and ah voila! We have lights operating in our neighborhood. Now that's great. Now if you have an opportunity to um, use this type of uh, simulation software I'd highly recommend that you do a little bit of, of playing with this yourself. Uh, in this case, what I've done is I've used um, a piece of software called uh, Yenka. And you can go to yenka.com and uh, download it and give it a try for yourself. So thanks for viewing this uh, digital lesson.